Cancer, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for May 4th through the 10th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Um, let's take a look at what's happening here with you. So, uh, the overall energy for the reading, the magician, um, you're manifesting things. You're manifesting things like crazy here. Or your person is, or the both of you are manifesting each other, because what came out in the current situation, which we'll get to, uh, is big. So, in the recent past, you get the Page of Cups, the uh, Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Um, there's love here, there's a brand new beginning, there's, I mean, this looks like a beginning of something beautiful, something powerful, uh, something loving, that made you feel really, really good. I feel like it was that beginning kind of stage where you were just in it, and you were digging it, and then, you know, it just evolved into something bigger. Uh, in the current situation... You get the Five of Cups, the Emperor, and the Empress. Powerful couple. Divine couple. There's a lot of sadness here between the two of you. But you two are standing in your power here. The both of you are. Possibly working with this energy of uh, the past. Uh, in the immediate future, you get the Six of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. There's, uh, there's you, there's you offering love, um, and with that, a lot of things are starting to balance out in your life, but while you do that, while you follow your heart and you go in the direction that your heart calls you, somebody else might be left behind, um, so we'll see, we'll see what that is, let's, uh, clarify. Let me clarify the magician. You get the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Cups. I feel like you're manifesting uh, you coming in with a person that you love, the person that you love, your empress, you you coming in together with this person in love. I feel like currently it's possibly not happening and it's creating a lot of sadness uh, because you have a lot of emotions here. And you keep on manifesting and manifesting and manifesting. But it's like you get disappointed once in a while because you don't see the results. Um, Reminder, if you are manifesting, it's not going to happen overnight. Chances are, it's going to happen when you're going to think to yourself, I don't want it anymore. That's the beauty of the universe. It's like, well, you asked for it. Yeah, but right now I, I changed my mind. Well, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> you know? Um, it's just funny, but that's the, the, the sense of humor that the universe has. Um, let's see, do I want to touch anything in the past? I don't think so. No, let's, let's focus on the present. The past is in the past, right? Uh, it doesn't, I mean, it's not calling me out to clarify anything. 
Let me go to this Five of Cups in the current situation. <clears throat> the Ace of Wands, the Star, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it's, I mean... Again, it, seem, it, it seems like a, a dragged on kind of a situation where somebody wants a brand new beginning, a passionate new beginning with somebody else. But I feel like if this is you and I feel like this is you, you're still working on yourself a lot. And it's like, even though you want for this to happen right now, the possibility of this not coming in right now, it's because you're not ready. You're still needing some time to yourself. You're still needing to put in some time towards yourself before this can come in. Which is telling me that you're trying to balance yourself out to get to that place of the emperor here. You know? Which is so close. It's right around the corner, pretty much. Because um, you are doing the work. And... With the Five of Cups there, look at you being stuck in the past, maybe sometimes. Um, that's the energy that's probably still needing to be worked on. You know? Um, something negative that happened in the past here for the two of you. Let's clarify the Emperor. The Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So there's this energy again of somebody um, trying to fix a situation. But I feel like if this is you, you're so, so freaking good and comfortable being in this energy of single, of independent. Um... And that might be a tricky slope sometimes because we, we we sometimes get into that whole aspect of I'm putting a lot of work into myself. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I feel great. My life is looking awesome and I feel great just the way uh, that I am right now with me being single and not sharing this with anybody. Um, if this is a divine connection, which is looking like it is... Um, there may be some fear in there attached to you towards sharing this kind of energy with this person which feels like they're you anyway, you know? Um, so there might be that there. Because I don't see this necessarily as one of those selfish things where, or a commitment phobe kind of thing. I don't see it as that. Um, I see it more as an underneath fear. Let's clarify the Empress. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You two are going through a lot of healing individually. Uh, the Temperance card, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Swords. That's a lot of healing. Um... This person is going from healing to healing to healing to healing. Um, it's one of those things where just when you think you're done and you you have the feeling that I've healed for 10 lives, you know, uh, something else comes up and you're like, shit, I got to heal again. You know, I got to look into myself again. Um, so there's this cool energy. I kind of love this energy, but... There's a lot. There's a lot of healing going on at an individual level here. And it's bringing the two of you together and you're not even seeing it. Um, really cool. Really intense. Let's uh, go to the Six of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Nine of Wands, the World, and the Eight of Wands. The resistance, the barriers, the boundaries, which, yeah, most of the times you need healthy boundaries, but other times, more times than not, we set them because we're afraid of something. Um, the, those kind of walls are going down. 
they're coming down slowly but surely i mean with this kind of healing duh um but yeah they're coming down and that's gonna balance things out for the both of you energetically and it's gonna create this beautiful um let's talk let's communicate about what's going on here between the two of you you know a lot of resistance is coming down let's uh clarify the king of cups in the immediate future the uh, three of wands the knight of swords and the five of wands um there's going to be a little bit of a conflict and i feel like that's going to be within you uh in terms of you feel like you have a lot of love and you want to act on it but you're waiting so that's going to create a lot of conflict within you of okay why don't i do what i feel because you are coming into alignment here a lot and it's not going to feel right uh, to you to keep on waiting when you feel so intensely about moving on again i'm gonna take you back to this fear um that i feel into that whole i'm single i'm by myself i'm good uh kind of energy let's clarify the five of pentacles Yeah, something, uh, something that you've worked on for quite some time. It could be another connection. It could be uh, something in regards to work. Something is coming to an end in your life. It will eventually. It'll crumble down. And there's something that you've been resisting for quite some time. And it's coming to an end. It could be another connection that you're dealing with. Um, and it's going to feel painful. It's going to feel not that great. But... It's showing up here. It's coming. The ending is coming of that. Um, let's see what the universe has for you. The Seven of Pentacles, the Temperance, and the Queen of Wands. This is, I feel like this is your person. Um, resisting the urge to fight for this connection but they are fighting for this connection but they don't want to show up quite yet in this reality as standing up for this connection you know there's a little bit of resistance there but it's coming down they're working on that where they're gonna show up in their truth and they're gonna be like this is how i feel this is what's happening with me this is the energy that they're working on right now the resistance part so it could be you that's doing that also so that's what i have for you cancer uh this is looking like a very powerful reading so nice that you're dealing with these kinds of energies so um that's it uh hope this helped and i'll see you next time